Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. Here's the other thing that I want to try out. We finally have actual prescription medications. How does that work? I always let my pharmacist do it, but I'm very curious to see, like, what do what do I actually have to do? Because I know what I have to do in real life, but what do you do in game? And I guess we'll kind of compare and see. So, okay, doctor gave me a prescription. Okay, give it to me piece of paper it's usually electronic nowadays oh okay they gave me a prescription prescription numbers are usually generated in store because my systems aren't connected to the hospitals okay let's see e-script so we got the name the prescription type disease name of the medication and how many pieces okay this is missing a lot of crucial information Honestly, this is kind of messy, but it's a pretty decent uh, reference to what a prescription should look like. Now, again, this all depends on if it's a controlled or non-controlled substance, but at a minimum, you need the patient name, the date of birth, the medication, the strength of the medication, the amount of the medication. The frequency is extremely important. How often do you take it? How do you take it? And then how much of the medication? I know in the game it says one piece, but what does that mean? Do, I not everybody needs a full box of everything. The amount of refills, do you want refills? One, two, and there's also, you know, rules on refills depending on what type of medication it is, controlled, not controlled, the date of the medication, and then you need a signature. Okay, let's do the absolute minimum in pharmacy law here. How can we receive a script? It can be done written, verbal, to written, electronic, or faxed. Now, Non-controls are valid for up to one year. Scheduled three and fours are valid for up to six months. And scheduled twos are valid for up to 90 days. Now, how many refills? Non-controlled can have as many as they want. Scheduled three and four meds can have no more than five refills. And scheduled twos cannot have any more refills. So what about schedule five, you might be asking? Well, it's kind of a gray area, but... As far as we're concerned, there's no maximum authorized refills, but we do use the 12 month use date. Okay, so what do we need on a non-controlled? Like we said earlier, patient full name, prescriber name, prescriber address, drug, drug strength, directions, quantity, refills, and the day written. Now, for controlled substances, it is a little bit different. We specifically need also the patient address, the dosage form, the prescriber DEA or NPI, and we need it to be signed by the prescriber, often um, legibly, and uh, what we call a wet signature, where we need their actual signature. Even if it's faxed, I need the doctor to actually write on the script. It can't be electronic. Now, who does all of this verifying? <clears throat> it's the pharmacist, right? The pharmacist's job is the final check before the medication leaves the pharmacy the technicians are usually the ones that do the data entry so putting the prescription into the computer grabbing the meds bottling the meds and often selling the meds the pharmacist is really there for patient counseling and again the last verification of that med now you might be wondering do all pharmacies work in a different manner so that is yes and no the basic premise of pharmacies it's there you know there is the receiving of the script getting ready of the script the verification and giving it to the patient but a lot of pharmacies do it in different basic orders depending on how many steps of verification they want some have three to four steps of verification you receive the med and someone checks it someone fills it checks it pharmacist fills it and checks it and then a tech checks it again before it leaves sometimes there's like extra audits on top so different pharmacies do have base like difference in workflow. I'm going to go ahead and put a PSA out there right now. And I feel very strongly about this and I might even offend some Karens out there. Um, you have to treat pharmacies like a doctor's office. When you go to the doctor, I see no one complaining about having to wait 25, 30 minutes to go see their doctor. Pharmacies are the same. Pharmacists are doctors and the medication um, is important. It can hurt people. And our verification is very important. You don't want to rush the verification of a medication. A lot of mistakes can happen, often deadly. You might say, oh, well, half the meds aren't that dangerous. Yeah, they're not. But what happens when one is dangerous and all of a sudden we screw it up? Well, we lose our license, we get sued, and we just killed a person. And that 
come from people saying, well, just do it faster. Don't you just lick steak and pour? Which, no, maybe the technicians <laughs> lick steak and pour, but the pharmacist is there to look at the medications, verify it, make sure you are using it in the most safe way manner. And again, pharmacists are doctors. When the prescriber sends something into us, it's also our job. It's called corresponding responsibility. So we have the job of double checking the doctor, making sure you're on the right thing. Although stores get busy and we don't do it as often as we really should be doing, it is important. And a lot of people don't really think of pharmacies and pharmacists like doctors, but we are. So I'm just going to say this, <laughs> please be patient with your pharmacist and pharmacies and technicians. Be patient with them. They've got a lot on their plate, especially now more than ever, stores closing down. The volume of prescriptions is a lot, and every single prescription that goes out that door needs to be safe and checked. We don't want to rush these things. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead <clears throat> and check the bank, see how close we are to foreclosure. I'm counting down the days. It looks like we got three until foreclosure. Okay, let's just keep wasting our money buying things and waiting for the slow collapse for our pharmacy to go to the shadow realm. Okay, everybody, it's happening in about five minutes. We're going to close one more time, but it is the last day before foreclosure. So we finally get to figure out what actually happens to us when we go completely bankrupt. I don't know if they're going to take my pharmacy, if they're just going to take my materials, if they're going to take my furniture, if they're going to take my life. I have no idea. Are they going to delete the game from my Steam library? Who knows? But once this last patient goes away... We're going to get go ahead and, uh, and let's see what happens. Caesar came officers came and confiscated the products in return for the debt. So just the products unpaid zero. And I still somehow made a profit of 450. I don't understand. So wait, they didn't. But they didn't take my products, though. The products are still over here. And they didn't take the furniture. They didn't take anything. I mean, my debts are gone. Okay. Alright, so they just let me go bankrupt. And just didn't do anything to me except getting rid of all my debts. I don't completely understand, but I'm happy. Honestly... I genuinely thought they were just going to delete this world save and call it a day. I thought that's what was going to happen. Or my other guess was they were just going to take my product, but they didn't seem to have done both. They just said, oh, okay, you're kind of dumb. So let me go ahead and take your debt and do nothing else. Unless they took all the product and the product that's on the shelves is glitched product and they can't take it, which is another thing, but interesting. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're back in the pharmacy now we just went through that whole bankruptcy saga and it's now time to rebuild uh let's go ahead why why am i so short did the game get taller or did i get shorter or was i having a fever dream the entire time i was playing i can't tell all right so if we look if we go to the bank look no debt we're out of debt we only had to go bankrupt twice to achieve that but no debt at the same time, I have absolutely nothing on my sh well, okay, I have a few things on my shelf. But out of bankruptcy, I did manage to buy a whole bunch of these things, and I'm very surprised that they didn't take them away from me when I went to bankruptcy. But hey, now we have them. Now here's the problem. I'm pretty sure my shelves are still broken. Okay. Yeah, you see, oh, wait, there's still that glitch where 
This is weird though, that the whole box thing is new. Did the game get updated without me knowing? I think the game might have got updated. Okay, but here's the dealio. I technically know how to fix it, but like not really. I just need new shelves. So what we're gonna end up doing is moving these boo-boo shelves over to the side and replacing them with new ones and basically open the guy they don't break again right it's uh just big basically as much as we can do here so yeah i think these are good shell i think these are new i like i swear these are new okay we'll just go ahead and stick that in there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically restart the game I'll sell what I have on the shelves and I will slowly build up my stockpile of medications and sooner or later we will become millionaires. Now what's nice this time is, you know, we did go into bankruptcy twice, but at what cost? And I'm, I'll tell you that cost is we, what vitamin? Oh, oh my God. The game did, did get updated. Cause there's like, that wasn't there before. Is there new meds? Hold on. Okay, no. Five still. No, there's still the same amount of meds. Okay, so probably just some quality of life things got fixed. Which is ironic because the one glitch that actually matters is still here. Okay. Okay, well anyway. Uh, back to my point is we have all of our... Oh yeah, they got rid of the exams and license. Now it's just... Okay, either way, look. Oh, they did. Vitamin license is 500. These were both 1,000 before. Oh, holy crap. These all got lowered in price. This was 2,000. This was 3,000. We overpaid a bunch. And they completely got rid of the exam? I took the exam for no reason? That's crazy. Okay. Okay, all interesting. Again, it must have got updated like literally last night. And again, okay, you guys are seeing this video. It's probably quite a bit after. Because I don't release these like the second I record them. But, okay. Alright, well, back to. Sorry, I'm getting off track here. The point is, we went bankrupt twice to get this done. And now we have all the things, which is nice. And now we have a bunch of these stands which we can use. And sadly, half of our shelves are broken, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and open. Let's get some people in here. And again, now the name of the game is just going to be bringing back up our stock. Once we get a decent stock going, then re like it's all it's all going to like snowball extremely quickly. We've got the two best pharmacists in the land, even though this guy's not even wearing a jacket like his wife is. But it's all right. But yeah, we're going to have to get all of this rolling once again. Step number one is... I'm going to probably have to buy a few more shelves too, but buying shelves is probably going to come second. First, I just need to get my stock up. But yeah, it's, I, I mean, look, they up, they're clearly working on the game, right? They updated something. So I'm hoping they fix the glitch or maybe hear me out. Maybe they already fixed the glitch and it's just, you know, my current shelves are broken and will forever be broken. Maybe. Oh my God. They added a sell button. I can sell it. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... that's Look, that's new. That wasn't there before. Can't shell the cell phone. It's full. Okay, well, there... Okay, hold on. Oh, my God, they did it. They added the ability to sell things. Dude, they're updating the game too quickly, bro. My videos are going to be outdated. Oh my god. Look, looky, looky here. Okay, yeah, it's still... So all of these shelves that are broken, we will have to sell and rebuy, but that's okay. A small price to pay. Okay, sadly, it doesn't tell me how much I'm selling them for, but now I, I can see how much money I got. Okay. All right, well, let's start selling everything that's not good. Okay, so like these shelves, obviously I'm selling. First of all, these are all broken shelves anyway, not like I need them. Oh, but the problem is I need to get everything off the shelf, so I'll need to wait for someone to either buy it or... Well, I guess what I could do is just sell the ones that are empty and then start buying new shelves with it. 
And my question... Also, I'll have to test which shelves are broken. Like, are you broken? I'll have to, like, test every spot. It doesn't look like this one's broken. Okay. So, this one... This one won't get sold. This one, you'll move into the rotation. I, I really hope that this shelf glitch is, like, fixed now completely, and we won't have to worry about it anymore. I'm actually extremely excited, more than you guys think, because... Okay, and I hate saying this, because, like, I'm not trying to be like... Wait, can I sell this, too? Oh, my God, I can sell the... Oh, no, that's okay. I thought I could sell the drug itself, like, back to the manufacturer. That'd be crazy. Like, I don't want to be, like, a drama queen, but, like... I almost didn't want to keep playing the game for the simple fact of, like, they kept messing up my shelves. Like, that's, like, the simple pleasure of playing games like this, is keeping, like, a nice, organized store. And the fact that I couldn't do that uh, was, like, very close to sending me over the edge of, like, I don't really want to play anymore if I can't even have the basic function of keeping my crap organized. So I'm glad they're working on it. Okay, wait. Oh, this is a... Okay, no, this is a big shelf. Let me... I have to test... Okay, no. Okay, you are getting sold, buddy. Okay, see, okay, this... All of these shelves are getting sold, man. 416. Okay, so they, they give me, like, 150 for it. You know, it could be worse. Okay, all of these shelves... These, these ones are all... Okay. I'll just have to re remember which ones are broken. I'm just gonna assume that all of them are broken, other than these ones, though, but I'll, I'll have to triple check. The other thing we gotta do now is okay i gotta make sure not to sell them on accident because there's no confirmation of do you want to sell it's just you hold the button and it sells so i'll have to really be careful to make sure not to sell crap that i'm not meaning to sell i have to make a better arrangement of these vitamins and stuff um hmm okay well i think we should just focus on getting some we need to get the money rolling. That's number one right now. So let's just buy some things. Also, I wonder if any prices were adjusted. Can't... Oh my god, they even added the current stock. Oh, they... Okay, Dude, the guy who was making this game was cooking. Right, let's buy these ones. At least we'll get these stocked. Yeah, bro. Somebody was cooking. I can smell it. All right. Let's just get the shelves up and rolling. And honestly, this whole green box. Wait, what? Oh, my God. Wait, what? Is this shelf? Was this a broken shelf? This must be a broken shelf. Okay. That's so weird. I, I definitely thought that one was working. All right, are you? All right, this is a working shelf. Okay, we, bump, 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 bump. We had an imposter, dude. No way. All right, we're we're chilling though. We're chilling. We're chilling. What is this next? Altafin. All right, we'll have again. We'll have to build up our stock, nice and slow. We just went through some pretty severe crippling bankruptcy, but once we get these on the shelf. Oh, dude, I'll be like, dude, Mr. Krabs, bro, I can, oh, man, I can smell it. The money. Boop. I love how there's no background music or anything. Oh, you use a boop, which, to be honest, it's like, it's, I kind of feel right at home. Pharmacies tend to be like that, where, like, actually, like, okay, I'm not, I, obviously, I'm not going to dox myself, but... Uh, my work did go, like, my actual hospital pharmacy job did go through some drama of, like, people just playing music to, to like, you know, just music, right? And, like, yeah, okay. It was a whole thing, but it's okay. Again, I'm not trying to dox myself here. All right. Don't sell, don't sell, just move, okay? Gotta be careful here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mistake and just sell an entire shelf for no reason. And then what we'll have to do too is get all of the vitamins and all the pre-workouts, which again, that's all new. You guys got to remember, I went through bankruptcy while I got the new. So like, I didn't even get a chance to play with the new stuff, right? I just went straight into being broke. So all of that stuff we still got to look at and it's all new. Okay. 
And I mean, again, now I'm like, I'm in a dilemma. Do I buy another shelf? Because obviously I can't organize things if I don't have shelves. But to sell things, I need them on the shelf. Maybe I'll just put them on these shelves temporarily. I don't know. Hey, what is this? Okay, so we got up to the... This is an al or a cetrazine, right? Yeah. So we got up to the cetrazine. Hmm. These are broken. All right. All right, pharmacist, I need you to start selling, bro. I need to get this stuff off of the shelf. I, I, I don't want to hand pick it. Maybe some... Actually, this one, this shelf I can just sell. I think of which one has like the least amount. Wait, you know what I could do? No, I can't. I shouldn't do that. Maybe I, maybe I just start playing with my other shelves. That's what she said. Um. Okay, let's move my computer to... I don't know. I just need this somewhere else. For... No, wait. I can just put it like... Hello? Oh, I thought it like disappeared. I got sad for a second. Can I not put it back? Okay. You know what? You will just go right here for like just a minute. I want to get the, the pre-workouts and stuff. Okay, but how do we do this one? Because I want it to be different from here. Why don't we make this one like kind of going around the perimeter of the building? And we also don't have like a crazy amount of shelves, so I don't have to... Really? I can't... Oh. Oh, it looks like the, the door and the wall are at different like heights or something. Okay, so we just have to move that one a little further. Okay, is that all of the... Okay, that's all of the... Okay, so time... Those are the vitamins. Now we need to make some supplements. Put the supplements right over yonder. How far can I take it? Why can't I put it there? That's so weird. Okay, I'll put that there. Hello? Alright, we'll just put all these. This shelf will have to get sold. Oh my god, I'm so glad they gave it... They and honestly, the developer did it in like the easiest way possible. Like, yeah, press X, you get rid of it, you get some shmoney. It's easy as that. I don't need some overly complicated system of like, thank you. Just let me get rid of it. That's perfect. I appreciate it, big man. Whoever, I don't know who you are developing the game. First of all, I appreciate you for making the game. But I have no idea who you are, but I appreciate you either way. I can I, well, I can't put that there. I guess we'll just put it right here. Since we have the room. Okay. One little lone shelf over there. That's fine. And then all of these have to sadly get sold. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna I am gonna buy one more shelf really quickly. Just to make room for five more things. Also, we were here, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Crap. Okay. So, I, do have, I can't buy two shelves. I don't, I don't have enough money for two shelves. Okay, well... Oh, and also I don't even have money for these. Okay, well, we'll get at least five more in there, and then we'll have one spot kind of hanging, but that's fine. All of these are broken, right? Yeah, okay, so that that's broken, that's broken. I'm just going to verify that all of these are broken. Okay, that's broken, that's broken, that's broken... That way I can kind of sell without having to worry. Oh, wait. No, this one. This one's definitely broken. What? Hold on. Hold on. This shelf seems fine. Hold on. Is this shelf not broken? This shelf doesn't seem broken. Okay, hold on. We're cooking here. So... Let me take everything off this shelf. Because, yeah, this is a working shelf. It's basically free money. Free $150. Okay, let's just go ahead and buy this, though. Means we'll get one more shelf. The other thing we got to remember now is I just... My number one requirement is to just have enough money to sell... To be able to pay my pharmacists. That's like step one of... I just need to make sure that I leave enough money for myself to do that. 
Also, what time is it? I'm like... Okay, I actually have, like, time commitments today. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrible. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could just stay and play forever, but sadly... Got things... I mean, I can't complain. They're fun things, but still. I just want to play... You know, when, when I get home from a long day at the pharmacy, I just want to come home and go to the pharmacy. You guys know? You know what I'm saying? Alright. One more, and then we will try to clear out that other shelf. Yeah, like I, I likely won't buy any more today. Because I need to save enough money to pay these guys, or I'm going to get foreclosed again. So that will have to stay there just for a hot minute. While I clear... Oh my god. I just want to clear... So this one's broken. That one's broken. Okay, so officially, every single one is broken except that one, it seems. Oh, it's going to take me so long to take everything off the shelf. Because this stuff is not... I think these are the, the white scripts. Meaning these things won't get sold. Also, I should really remember where I put the stuff. Okay, there we go. So we'll put that one down there. Make everything easier if I just go back to where I put the... No way. See, psych. Yeah, yeah keep selling. Take that crap off. Just, I'm going to try to minimize the things that are broken. Come on, give me another shelf. Why do, why do you guys suck? Okay, here we go. We're almost done. Alright, we're almost... We're almost through the pain. We just got to get this one... And we'll be rolling with at least the non-prescriptions. But look, we already have we already have enough money for another shelf. Please, we're rolling. Oh my god, there's a lot of these green ones. But now, hey, the, this is all medication. We gotta we gotta sell those. Like this is still money, right? I'm not gonna complain about having things to sell because if I didn't have things to sell, we would go back to being bank bankrupt. No, you guys can you can keep that shelf. I don't want it. You guys have ever ever watched those funny videos on TikTok of like children, specifically like newborns, not not knowing how to use their hands yet. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Also, kind of painful for them, I'm sure, which is kind of sad. But it's really funny watching them grab things and like. Okay, see now I'm saying it out loud and it's actually not that funny because it, it it probably hurts the baby not knowing how to control their own muscles. You know what I mean? got a shelf we're rolling and then now we have a bit more room and actually we can start ordering some of the white i always forget if it's white or green first but we can start ordering whatever the other one is i'll just put that right there okay what are and that's all of them right should be 11 well hold on one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so 16. This should be... Yeah, okay, that's 16. I know how to count. I'm a big boy. All right, white scripts. So we can buy the first four. One, two, three, four. That's actually a good bit of money right there. Uh, I still have enough to pay. It really, I just need to make sure I have 350 and some change at the end of the day. I know there's, like, taxes and stuff. So really... If I, I should really be ending off every day with at least like 600 ish which we still have technically five hours in the workday so we'll definitely hit that no problemo all right ladies and gentlemen we are we're rolling and then tomorrow once I pay my pharmacist I'll start buying more shelves yeah, now that we have just like a decent stock of, well, I wouldn't even say decent stock. We just have a stock of things. We really have nothing to worry about anymore. We're, we're kind of out of the danger zone of bankruptcy like we were for so, so long. Oh, I didn't even notice this shelf here. Um, I'll just put that right. Well, you know what? Why don't I just take both of these then? Just put them next to each other until we figure out. A more permanent place to put these. 
right, let's put these a little closer to to the pharmacist. That way the pharmacist don't have to walk a crazy amount just to get to these because all of this needs to get sold. Maybe I'll just leave it AFK2 for a while. Not, I can't do it for too long, obviously, but because I need those things sold off. Is it time check? Time check. Okay. You guys are at home? Haven't drank water? Drink it. It's good for you. Well, I just thought I could also just sell the shelves to pay the pharmacist. Actually, what am I thinking? Like, I have a Pixaban here. Why don't I just put a Pixaban, like, back on my shelves? Like, this is product. I just move it over. Anything that I already have organized, I could very easily just grab it and just put it in the right place. Okay, so, uh, this one I can't grab. Okay, so that one, uh, I guess I have to wait to get sold because I can't grab it. Okay, we're almost at the end of day one, and like actually perfect timing for me to have to leave in a minute. But we are back up and rolling. We got the cash flow. We got some nice organized shelves. We're rolling. Let's just go ahead and end off the day. You know, it's another question of mine. Can I end? Okay, no, it's still the same. I still can't end a day if there's a customer at the register. It might be a good idea to implement to where I can, just in case any customers get glitched. But, um, tell my developer. I won't, I won't tell them how to do their job. Okay, so wait, I didn't have enough money, right? Do I owe the bank anything? Okay, so, um, I do owe the bank. Okay, so I, ha I have to leave a little bit more money at the end of tomorrow. Good to note. I'm going to need a tiny bit more money, but it's okay. Again, everything will really start to pick up and get rolling once we have our shelves full. Okay, well, I got to go do real life things, but once I get back, it'll be time for more pharmacy.